As you know, the Unity Asset Store is a wild and a massive place. So in this video, we're gonna check out five awesome assets that I love and use in my projects. The assets that we mentioned are going to be linked in the description box of this video. But Sam, you never link- I know, I forgot it in my last video too, god damn it. But I won't this time, okay? And if you don't trust me, go ahead and check out the description for yourself. Also, if you have your own favorite assets you would like to suggest us, the community, make sure to leave a comment on this video. Oh, and by the way, there's gonna be a super exciting announcement at the end of this video, so make sure to watch till the end. And you know what? Here, I'll give you a hint. <clears throat> Are you ready? Game jam! But yeah, we're gonna talk more about that soon, so don't worry. But first and foremost, before we get started with the video itself, this video is brought to you by Dashlane. Dashlane makes it very easy to manage various tasks. It auto-fills all of your personal info like addresses, card information, and passwords in order to make online checkouts a breeze. All the info stored within Dashlane is encrypted, meaning that it's the safest place to store your personal information while having the luxury of autofill. If you wish to browse the web more securely, Dashlane also has a VPN, also called Virtual Private Network, to make sure you cannot be tracked while browsing the internet and can access content in any country. For overall security and luxury combined, I feel like Dashlane really takes care of all of it for you. So give Dashlane a try on your first device by going to dashlane.com forward slash Saiku. Then if you want to upgrade to premium, use the promo code Saiku to get 10% off. All right, so with that being said, get Unity started, grab your wallet, grab some tissues so you can wipe off your wallet's tears, and let's get started. The first asset we're gonna check out is called Ambient Skies. Now, Ambient Skies is a post FX and lighting system for Unity made by Procedural Worlds. More than just a wrapper around Unity, Ambient Skies makes intelligent decisions about how to set up your scene, adds a time of day system, dynamic depth of field, horizon blending, HDRI sky boxes, and uh, sky boxes. <laughs> it also gives you over 30 pre configured post processing profiles, all of which have been carefully matched to give you a great visual starting point for your scene. Ambient Skies is made up of three subsystems. Skies, post effects, and lighting that can be used independently or together as desired. This makes it very easy for you to mix and match Ambient Skies with your favorite sky and weather systems as you please. And now we're quickly gonna hop on to number two where we have Forest Environment. Forest Environment is made by Nature Manufacture and it's a huge library of 100% scanned assets, carefully optimized and at last. In this pack, you will find five aspects. You will find artistic content like bushes, rocks, grass and plants, various branches, stumps, ground textures, and so much more. You will also find shaders, wind shading from HDRP or the high definition render pipeline, tools and scripts, and support files. It's basically a massive pack for making dynamic forests that look gorgeous, but also perform well. Moving on to number three, we have Farm Pack. And now Farm Pack is a part of the famous Polygon series created by Sinti Studios, which you probably have heard about on this channel before because I covered them so much. And Farm Pack is basically a low poly asset pack of buildings, vehicles, characters, plants, and props to create a farm themed polygonal style game. It has over 15 buildings, 165 props, 173 plants, Plants, bunch of environment details, six characters, and 11 vehicles. The characters work with the Mechanim for easier animating, and the shaders work with both the high definition render pipeline and lightweight render pipeline. And next up, at number four, we have Dynamic Water Physics 2. Dynamic Water Physics 2 is a water object interaction simulator made by NWH Coding. This simulation uses mesh data to simulate both boolean. How do you say this word? It simulates both buoyancy and hydrodynamics, making it suitable for objects of any shape or size, moving or stationary. It's extremely fast and easy to set up. You can simulate any object of any shape or size. It's extremely well optimized, utilizes burst enabled Unity jobs to make use of multiple CPU cores, and it's suitable for both desktop and mobile. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna move over to number five, where we have Realistic Effects Pack 4. Realistic Effects is made by Crypto289, and it's a package that includes 27 effects with sound effects. 
It works out of the box like a default particle system, meaning you can just drag and drop it into your scene quite literally. And you can change the color of the particles with one click and it supports mobile platforms, VR, LWRP or the lightweight render pipeline and the HDRP. Additionally, there is a physics motion of projectiles, so collisions, gravity, air drag, and so on do affect projectiles. There's also a demo scene included that contains characters, animations, and a village, which also simulates and demonstrates very well the physics motion of the projectiles. All right, so those are five of my newly favorited and newly found asset packs from the Unity Asset Store. I feel like these asset store videos that we're making on the channel are really being appreciated by the community, like you guys. So I really wanna keep making these. So if you have any ideas for like improvements or if you feel like I should do more or less of these, make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you feel about this. Also, if you guys enjoyed this and wanna see more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to show some support and hit the subscribe button button to stay up to tune for new videos. Also, as you know, I told you in the intro that I have a very exciting announcement to make, so here it is. We are hosting a game jam, a community game jam, and it's a massive game jam event that will take place over a week at the end of August. The best and most fun part about this is that it's not just our community at Saiku, but we're hosting this with Brackies, Danny, Jabrils, and Blackthorn Prod. We're all working along with the folks on Brackies Discord staff, who are absolutely amazing people by the way, to put together this event. We are doing this to bring people together from all communities and make awesome stuff. If you're a content creator, I would actually suggest you to join us by making a video and announcing that you will be participating in the jam and encourage others to do the same. We will all show our process of working on our entries after the jam and I'm extremely excited to see what you guys cook up within a week because I know we have some really talented people in this community and just generally speaking in the game dev community so I'm really looking forward to it and here's actually my favorite part personally speaking it doesn't matter if you're new to game dev intermediate have or have not participated in jams before it really doesn't matter we encourage everyone to join regardless as this is a community event and that makes you the main highlight you're a part of this community whether or not you're a super professional game developer or you're just getting started and you just downloaded a game engine for the first time it literally doesn't matter so you're just welcome to join and if you want to do that speaking of which um, make sure to click the link in the description because i'm going to leave some information down there so you can find more about us and i'm also going to link to all the creators that are participating in this community jam so you can find more about them as well um, so it's going to be really cool and i'm really looking forward to it and it's just going to make it more fun if you guys join as well all right so i'm done here <laughs> I'm just going to be active in the comment section and in the Discord server, basically. So also, if you want to join us on Discord, the link is in the description, just like everything else in this video, just like everything else on this channel. We always do this. Um, so yeah, feel free to join and I'm going to be super active. So I'll see you guys in the comment section and in our Discord server. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good night and peace out, guys.